Championship here today, 28 over Hackensack, uh, sideline chat around Jay Hotchess and Bill Ross, the first straight championship for the church of Livingston High School. It's a tremendous achievement for a program uh, that's really risen in the year 28. Well, thank you very much. As I mentioned before, we, we got to thank God for bringing us through this. Well, we went through this year, we didn't do that well. I mean, we got a lot of help. And, and uh, we have a great team, the camaraderie, the personality, the friendship. These kids are awesome, and I'm so happy for them. Every kid rose up throughout the season at different times. Gary Stetz, different guys, Nick Brandon. I don't want to mention names because I, I can't mention names. I'll miss people. But, you know, every guy had something to do with it, and I'm so happy for them. It's a true team. We were a team that came up and talked a lot about the weekend down at Super Bowl. And, you know, at that point, you got to re resurrect at the Monday meeting and the team just kind of re reinvented their season. They did. And came out and you beat a great Ridgewood team up there. That was a big and game. And a semifinal, Hackensack, a physical team today. And uh, yeah. uh, really quite a run it's been. I mean, one once in a lifetime. It, it probably is. I mean, to do what we did with the injuries and the 43 nothing to Seton Hall, I mean, you know, we just got one of those runs. You know, it's magical. It's totally magical. And the kids have so much heart. And they work very hard. And, and my hat's off to Hackensack as well. They really brought an A game, uh, especially in the second half. They have a lot of injuries to deal with, so we've been there. We know what that's like. You mentioned stats, and of course, young Brown, they did a good job filling in a quarterback. I think Mike Genevieve's coming back today, maybe surprisingly to some, to play quarterback. How to give your team a lift to have a, a veteran leader out there? Yeah, that gave, that gave the kids the, the final shot in the arm they probably needed. And, uh, you know, we had faith in our other two quarterbacks, but it was Michael's job, and our philosophy is you're not going to lose your job uh, to get injured. So he came back, he was ready to go, he played, I thought, magnificently. Great. Uh, Essex County Public Schools last year, 14-1. This year, you guys call over well, Verona. Public school football in Essex County is alive and well, isn't it? we got to get the kids to stay home, right? <laughs> <laughs> right got to get the kids to stay home. Congratulations Thanks. on the championship. You guys Thank worked you. hard to deserve it. I appreciate it. Thank Bill, you. Bill Thank Tracy, you head coach of Livingston. With a big you. victory here today over Hackinson. Everything really came together today. You, the first half, you took advantage of the interceptions. Uh, one by Ron Agnoli, one by Lamita, and you, you cashed in. Taking that early lead was huge, wasn't it? It was. It was a really big. It was a really big uh, part of the game. I mean, coming out strong is like one of the best parts about. Is one of the best, like biggest parts about football. And uh, as long as we like, we stuck it in there. We weren't going to let them score in the first half, and we had and uh, picks, interceptions, and fumble recoveries, and just holding onto the ball was a big part of the first half. And that's how we won. Twenty-one. That's how we were up twenty-one nothing. And having uh, Mike Genovese back as an experienced leader in there, it'll give you a little bit of psychological, maybe a little more confidence just overall. Yeah. Playing with him was more of like a mental booster than a physical booster. Just because like having him practice with us all week and playing with us was, was like a really big like inspire to, inspire to everybody. And uh, playing him, we made, just play, made us play better. I don't know much you displayed against Ridgewood. I was up at the Hackensack Mark Clare game, but I, you guys are kind of hard to prepare for. But what you do offensively, a little bit of single wing kind of little gimmicks in there maybe from a little Jim Benedict or John Bauer kind of look, but. The, and, and, Direct snaps to you and also McGay. It's kind of hard to prepare. Excuse me, uh, Genevieve. It's hard for teams to prepare for you guys. Yeah, that's exactly why uh, we work so hard in the summer every day, three hours, and every day after practice for three hours. It's just like, just like all the little things matter the most, and that's why we have such a deadly offense. Did you think going back a, a month ago, and you lost a seed hall 43 nothing? You didn't play that day, you did Genevieve. Did you be standing here today at Giant Stadium, a yes, champion? It, I did. I knew it the whole. I knew it the whole way, and even when I was in. I was in seventh grade. I knew I was going to say, we're going to be state champions one day. And uh, we're finally here and we took advantage of it and we won. Even back then, you, were, you, were, you still believed in yourselves all the way. Yeah, in uh, seventh grade, we had a team in 2003 that went undefeated and they won the conference and then they lost in the semifinals. And I was a uh, waterboy for that team with a couple of kids on the team and we said, like, we're going to get the job done and we're probably going to do it. And now we're here and we did it. Yeah, West Essex Junior Football uh, did pretty well uh, in the whole area. Verona called well. And uh, Essex County Public School Football is, is alive and well. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's amazing. We finally won a state championship for our high school, and every other team we played is is great. And uh, I think our perseverance is what got us here, and that's what we have. Zach, congratulations on the championship. Thank you very much. In the future. Thank you. Zach McGahey, senior fullback linebacker for Livingston, a big 28-8 victory over Hackensack. Steve Tober for NJ Hotshots and Sideline Chat. Going to be senior quarter, quarterback, defensive back, and when did you do, when was it decided that you'd be being a quarterback today? When was it decided this weekend? Uh, yeah. I want to say Friday of last week, after the Thanksgiving, I came into coach, my coach's office and said, Coach, I think I could throw the ball. He said, all right, we'll give it a shot, and if you can, 
we'll be able to do it. I wasn't 100%, but I knew I, I knew just just to get the ball off and get it to my players, they'll make plays, and they did. I was talking to your dad in late October, right before the Roxbury game, a game you lost at home. He didn't think you'd be playing football again in high school. Of course, you're going to Seton Hall University for baseball, but uh, things can change in four or five weeks. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, after the pins came out, uh, I knew I knew that I, I knew I was going to play again, but I don't know if I was going to play a quarterback. They, uh, they told me uh, it's going to it's going to be too stiff. You're not going to be able to grip the ball. But uh, then my doctor, after I told him I think I could grip the ball, he said, all right. I mean, you could give it a try. Just keep working it out. So I kept working it out, and here I am, state champion. Yeah, I don't know if Hackensack uh, again having trouble preparing for Livingston. They're not an easy team, you guys, with the offense you run, and not knowing then realize at the end you're going to be in there. McGahee, well, he can take the snaps. I mean, you guys could throw a lot of wrinkles in there. You didn't have to throw the ball a ton today, but you guys did enough offensively, and you took advantage of the turn of the turnovers. Oh yes, they. Uh, I mean, our defensive back. I think we we definitely had the def best defensive back in the conference, in the county even, except for those, I mean, the parochial schools, but we have James Austin, Zach Lemieux are just amazing. They just cover the ball, they cover, they run under the ball and just get it, as you saw. Uh, Lemieux had two interceptions, I had one, James had so many tackles, we come up and we just stick. Um, on offense, they don't know where the ball's going. They don't know if I'm getting it, they don't know if McGee's getting it. Today, Kozlowski, but uh, Bobian, Grande, all of them, everybody just awesome and on the line. Is, I, I love them. Yeah, your line is kind of overlooked against a team like Morristown early in the season. Your line really played up, and today against a very physical Hackensack team, they did a pretty good job in the trenches. Oh, they, just, they've always been. They're just amazing. I love every one of them. Well, Mike, congratulations. Get healthy all the way. We'll thank look forward to your great. baseball career. Oh, yes, thank you. Great championship. Thank you. Mike Genovese, the senior quarterback, defensive back for Livingston, the big 28-8 victory over Hackensack for the first ever North 1 Group 4, first ever playoff title anywhere for Livingston football. Steve Tober for Sideline Chatter and NJ Hotchett.